Hey Kids Club, it's Miss Sarah here with this week's video powerhouse lesson. So as always, I'm excited to open up God's Word with you, but today I am especially excited because this time of year is my favorite. It's the time that we've been remembering Jesus' death and finally celebrating His resurrection. And today we are talking about just that, the resurrection. To resurrect means to be raised from the dead and restored to life. That's your spoiler alert for today, because that is exactly what happens in our story. Last week in Miss Amy's video lesson, we learned about the greatest gift ever given to us, the gift of salvation through Jesus' death on the cross. But like I said in the spoiler alert, the story does not end there. In fact, if it did, the Bible says that our faith would be for nothing you see, Jesus' resurrection completes the gospel story and makes it whole. It is the reason we can trust Jesus and know that he is exactly who he said he is. So how about we get started? Today, you can find our story in the book of Matthew, chapter 28. Now it had been a very sad few days in Jerusalem. Jesus was dead and buried in a tomb those two things really happened. He died a real death on the cross and was buried inside of a real tomb. His followers were discouraged and there seemed to be no more hope. After all, the one who they loved and the one who they believed was really God was now dead and inside of a tomb. Pilate had ordered Roman soldiers to push a giant stone in front of the tomb and seal it off. Back then, tombs were kind of like caves with big entrances, so they needed to be sealed. And way before all of this, they had heard Jesus teaching his disciples that on the third day, he would rise. So by pushing that big stone in front of it, they were making sure that the disciples or anyone else couldn't come and steal Jesus' body out of the tomb. So with that stone rolled in place and the soldiers standing and guarding it, no one was getting in or out. So they thought. Here are the soldiers standing guard in front of the tomb. Now early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died, some women who loved Jesus were taking spices to his tomb to anoint his body. On their way, they wondered, who will roll this stone away so that we can get into the tomb? This stone was massive. Not the women or even men could get this stone out of the way. But they did not have to worry. Here are the women taking the spices. Moments earlier, while the guards stood watch, two angels came down from heaven. Their bodies shined like lightning and their clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid that they stood shaking and fell to the ground. One of the mighty angels rolled back that massive stone and sat on top of it. Soon, the women arrived and saw the angels with the stone rolled away. What had happened, they thought. They were shocked. One of the angels said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified, but he is not here. He has risen, just like he said. Come and see the place where he was laid. Here's a picture of the angel telling the women that the tomb is empty. When the women went inside of the tomb, Jesus' body was gone. The women went to tell the disciples, but the disciples found their story hard to believe. After all, they had all saw Jesus die. But Peter and John ran back to the tomb to see for themselves. They went inside and saw Jesus' grave clothes lying there, but Jesus himself was gone. That's when they finally believed all that Jesus had told them, and the women too. Jesus had risen indeed. There's Peter and John in the empty tomb. Did you know that Jesus' death and resurrection are the most important part of the whole Bible? Every story in the Bible that took place before Jesus looks forward to his death and resurrection. 
And every story after Jesus looks back upon those days to celebrate the good news of this gospel. And that is what Easter is all about. That is why I'm so excited. It's not about the eggs that you might have gotten on Sunday or that yummy candy. It is about the great hope that we have, knowing that Jesus Christ is alive and that one day, if we believe, we too will be raised with him in new life. That is why we celebrate. So I hope during this time, you can know that God's words are true. Jesus did everything he said he would and fulfilled God's word from thousands of years before. Not only is he true, but he is alive. Remember, when things get hard, that our God is not dead. He is not in a grave, and he is certainly not buried. But he is risen, and he is alive with us today, just like he said he would be. So, that is all for our lesson today in our story. But stay tuned next week to hear about Jesus appearing to one of his disciples. For now, I'll see y'all later.